Good morning. Welcome to Pre-Calculus Section 1-7. Functions composed of functions. If we have a function f of x, 2x minus 3, and another function g of x, x squared minus 1, and these can be any functions, this is just two random functions, this happens to be the first example in your book, we can do f of x plus g of x. Now this concept can be pretty easy for you if you understand that equal means is. f of x is this. g of x is that. If I'm going to add f of x and g of x, I'm, I'm simply going to add 2x minus 3 plus x squared minus 1. I'm going to put these in parentheses. They're not needed on the addition, but you'll see they are needed on the subtraction. So now we just add these. 2x, uh, it's the only x to the first, so it's going to stay alone. x squared, it's the only x to the second, so it's going to stay alone. Just writing them in descending order. I'm going to have x squared plus 2x, and I have a minus 3 and a minus 1. That becomes minus 4. And that problem is finished. If I have f of x minus g of x, I'm going to have, that's right, you said it, 2x minus 3 minus x squared minus 1. Now to remove this parenthesis, Remember, both signs change, so we have minus x squared, and then we have plus 1. And to write them again in descending order, what we're going to learn is called the standard form. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Use your pause and fast forward if you need to, moving right along. f of x times g of x, that's right, you guessed it, 2x minus 3 times x squared minus 1. Do your FOIL first, 2x times x squared is 2x to the third. Outers, 2x times minus 1, minus 2x. Inners, minus 3 times x squared, and lasts, minus 3 times minus 1. And let's rewrite that again in the standard form. Oops, pardon me, 2x to the third, minus 3x to the second, minus 2x, plus 3. Likewise, f of x divided by g of x would be 2x minus 3 over x Good squared morning. minus 1. Okay, so from this point, the last thing to do, and of course if we could simplify this, we would simplify this. But even if we factor the denominator, 2x minus 3 over x minus 1 times x plus 1, nothing will simplify there. Okay, again, pause, fast forward, rewind, have a good look at it, think about it, and let's look at a function composed of a function. Oh, good question in the back row there. Can I do g of x minus f of x? Well, of course I can. That would simply be x squared minus 1 minus 2x minus 3. x squared minus 1 minus 2x plus 3. x squared minus 2x minus 1 plus 3 plus 2. Okay, and finally,
we have what we call a function composed of a function f composed of g of x. And this is simply f of g of x. So we look at f. Let's rewrite. f of x equals 2 times some quantity x minus 3. And let's see, f of what? Well, f of g of x. And so we just take g of x and insert it there. Simplify. 2x squared minus 2 minus 3. 2x squared minus 5. Pause. Fast forward. Rewind. Let's look at another one. Let's look at g composed of f of x. That is the same as saying g of f of x. It's a mirror inside a mirror. g of x is x squared minus 1. And for the unknown value, we're inserting f of x, 2x minus 3. And so we square this and we get 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 minus 1. And the last thing to do is to combine our like terms, and we get 4x squared minus 12x plus 8. Function composed of a function. Can we have f of f of x? Well, of course we can. Of course we can. of f of x equals, let's take f of x, 2 times some quantity x minus 3, and since it's f of f of x, 2 times some quantity minus 3 goes inside. That's f of f of x. Kids, we can do f of f of g of x. If we, I mean, if we want to get carried away, if you understand the concept by this point, we can do this. So we have f of something. Let's begin with 2 times something. I'm going to make it big because a lot of stuff's going in here. Minus 3. 2 times what? Well, 2 times f of something. So 2 times something minus 3. What's that something? Let's look inside here. It's g of x. That would be x squared minus 1. Use your pause, use your rewind, ask good questions in class. Thank you.